Welcome to East Coast LQ Views. Today, we got a beer by Throwback Brewery. This is their Spicy Bohemian. This is a Bohemian Pilsner with jalapenos. 4.8% alcohol by volume. Uh, so, I visited Bumpy not too long ago and uh, grabbed a can of this to do a review on. Um, John and Ellie and Bumpy are both big fans of this. I've also had it before and uh, decided to grab a can to do a review on my channel. It says spicy bohemian, bohemian pilsner with jalapenos is a crisp and refreshing bohemian pilsner, dry hopped with roasted New Hampshire jalapenos. Is it spicy? Yes, but in a nicely balanced way. The beer has a wonderfully inviting peppery aroma, great jalapeno flavor, and a bit of lingering heat. A fan favorite. Also gives pairing suggestions on here, which is pretty cool. Any type of Mexican food, sushi, uh, pizza, white fish, and many types of hard cheese. Uh, it says Throwback Brewery is a small inspired brewery, farm, and restaurant dedicated to crafting delicious farm fresh food and beers using local ingredients. If you want to check them out, you can go to throwbackbrewery.com slash beer. It says we brew what we love. We hope you love what we brew. Cheers. And uh, no canned on date. Uh, but it's got a bunch of other logos on the side. It says Valley Malt, crafted with local ingredients, drink beer fresh, certified independent craft brewers association logo, proudly crafted in New Hampshire from New England ingredients. Uh, brewed and packaged by Throwback Brewery LLC, Northampton, New Hampshire. So uh, yeah, no canned on date. Without further ado, let's crack it open. Pour it into my Trillium Pump glass I got here. Right, go for the pour. Appearance of the beer. Slight haze. Uh, straw color and appearance. Definitely a uh, sudsy, soapy white head on top. Very rocky. Very rocky head. About a finger. Pretty crackly as well. That's a uh, good amount of effervescence. It's good for the nose. That jalapeno is very prominent. You get that like peppery jalapeno. There's a little bit of underlying citrus and breadiness. A little floral as well. But the jalapeno is definitely the more overpowering, prominent aroma. It smells really good though. I can see why they would say this would go really good with uh, Mexican food. Let's uh, let's dive in. Cheers. Up front, very citrusy, fruity, lemon, grapefruit. Yeah, jalapeno on the back end. It's not super spicy, like. To the point where you're like, oh my god, I need something. I need to drink something else. It has a pleasant spiciness. You're left with a little bit of like the uh, like a floral, grassy, citrusy finish as well. Sweetness from the malts definitely does a good job working with the jalapeno. And it's not just full on jalapeno spice. Breadiness is there as well. It's a little, uh, there's a little bit of like apple in between. But yeah, it's definitely a good amount of spice that lingers. Like I can still taste the spice. Definitely sticks around for a while. Oh, <laughs> would. For sure, go well with like some tacos, quesadillas, something on like maybe a chalupa or something. This would uh, I see this being very working very well with uh with some Mexican food. With the spice though, it's also light bodied. I'd like a little bit more carbonation out of it. It's about. On the low side of medium carbonation, I kind of wish it was a little bit more spritzy, but definitely uh, light bodied. 
very crisp and refreshing on the finish. If you don't like jalapeno spice, if you just like can't handle spice at all, you might not enjoy this. But if you like moderate spice, I think that you would go crazy for this beer. It's definitely very good. It's not something that I would drink a four pack of. It's not something that I would drink too many of, but it's definitely something that would complement a dish very well. Um, whatever you're eating that has maybe some type of spice component. Um, and they say pizza too. I can see this working really well with some pizza. Um, so if you just want to kick it up a notch, have a little bit of that spice component to whatever you're eating. This is definitely a very good beer to pair with other foods. Um, but like I said, I don't see myself drinking like a whole four pack in one night. But uh, it's, it's, it's very good. Um, sometimes you have these beers that have these uh, peppers in them. Or they have some type of spice. And they're too overpowering or they're not easy to drink, or they're a little bit offensive. This one, I would say, is definitely well-balanced for having the jalapenos in it, and it's very drinkable. And like I said, it would just pair very well. Oh, excuse me. Number for this, for being unique, and something you don't see too very often, and uh, definitely something that would go very well with food. I'm gonna give this like a, I'm gonna go 95. Um, I wanted to give it like, I wanted to give it like a 96, but I just wish it had a little bit more carbonation, personally. But overall, the flavor is definitely top notch. It's definitely a very drinkable beer. If you like spice, it's got a good amount of spice to It's got a good enough spice to make you happy about how much spice is there. Like, I don't think you're gonna be disappointed. And if you're someone who just likes like moderate spice, kind of like me, you would still enjoy it because uh, it's not too overpowering. But uh, yeah, 95 out of 100 for sure. Uh, if you're in New Hampshire, if you see this, uh, I think this is the, maybe I've had another beer by Throwback, probably that Bumpy gave me. Um, but nothing that I can recall. Uh, but yeah, I'd like to try some other stuff by them. Throwback Brewery. They're out of New Hampshire where Bumpy's from. Bumpy Road Brews. Make sure to check them out. Subscribe to them. And uh, yeah, there you have it. If there's anything else that you guys like seeing my channel, make sure to leave a comment down below. And don't forget to like and subscribe to my upcoming videos. Like and beer. Thanks for watching, guys. Cheers.